Usually by the fourth installment, you know what you're getting into. And this is no different. But is that a good thing or a bad thing? Welcome to the horror show! To realize every door is run! You know who came to try! There are lies, how do you lie? Welcome to the horror show! To realize every door is run! You know who came to try! Obsessions will your mind! Turn four. Bloody beginnings. Unrated. Yeah. The official first prequel in the series. And you know what? It's the best Ron Turn movie alongside part two to have ever been made in my opinion. I loved the snowy setting that includes a mental hospital and the three main disfigure fucks. Sawtooth, One Eye, and Three Finger. But for the life of me, I cannot figure out why they chose this cover. I mean, sure, the other one was a little bit cheesy with the girl running and the two guys with the machete and the axe. So it was like Sawtooth and One Eye. But I would have rather had that than just a hand. It doesn't even have three fingers. I mean, it has four fingers. It would be more cool if it had three fingers. Just a four-fingered hand in the snow that has no relevance to the story whatsoever. And I really like the poster that I have right here. Uh, well, they should have used that. That would have been a lot more better. I mean, it's actually practically our fault because we were able to choose the cover. Either the one where she's running in the snow with the guys behind the trees, or the hand. We chose the hand! What the fuck? I know I didn't choose the hand. Anyways, let's get back on topic with Ron Turner for more Bloody Beginnings. The gore was crazy in this movie, and yes, if you are wondering, like Part 3, most of the gore is in CGI in this movie. But it is some of the best CGI gore I've ever seen in a low-budget slash flick in a, <laughs> a long time. But there's one downfall to this movie, and fans take it as a light hit to the face, but I can look past it. And that is the torture aspect of the film. Why the hell did they start torturing people in the prequels? I can see it as a way to get more creativity for the deaths. Maybe it's set up for the final prequel where they figure out it's easier to kill fast and swiftly rather than slow and painfully. <laughs> a man can dream, can he? I actually rather enjoy the beginning of this movie, and I like the fact that they showed them as kids first rather than just drop the topic of where they were from. Another thing I actually found really entertaining were the characters, believe it or not. There were no mean ones, so I didn't want them to die. But I also wanted them to die because of how many stupid decisions they made. They were just likable characters. Poor unlikable fools. Another thing I had a fun time with was the soundtrack. And it was awesome. Especially the band title, The Blackout City Kids, performing their songs, Ron Turn, yeah, yeah, and Survive. Overall, I give Ron Turn 4 Bloody Beginnings a 4 out of 5. No joke. I actually really enjoyed this flick. It is what every Ron Turn sequel should be like that Part 2 and Part 4 already are. I am Brian Gatto, host of Horror Show Movie Reviews. Make sure to like my Facebook page in the description below, and so leave comments and subscribe.